This is Cook and Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the weigh-in here ahead of tomorrow night's show at the Emirates Arena here in Glasgow. I'm joined by Dara Foley. How are you, mate? Super Foley. Super Foley. Super, I'm feeling good. I'm after weighing in there now, so just chill out. That's all the hard work done. Just rehydrate now and get the fluids back in. And yeah, looking forward to tomorrow night. So just to clear this up, right. you're like an Irish-Australian from Kent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically, That's basically yeah. what you are. I'm a, I'm a mongrel. <laughs> okay. um, you were born in Kent. I was born in Kent to yeah. Irish parents. Yeah. They moved over. Whereabouts in Kent? Uh, we moved around a bit. Right. Not in that way, but we, yeah, we yeah. moved around. Uh, Bromley, yeah, Orpington, I know Bromley is, yeah. Pittswood, yeah. St Mary's Cray. There's a bit of a shell on that now. <laughs> yeah, we got around. So, my old man moved over there in the 80s when there was no work. Yeah. And when my ma got pregnant with me, she followed over. So I was made in Ireland, but born in England. And then when I was a young kid, we moved back. Then I've lived in Australia the last six years, so yeah. How did that come about? You from Bondi? Yeah. Yeah, so how did that come about, that sort of switch to Australia? Just fucking... Back then there was no jobs in Ireland. It was at the end of the recession. It was raining every single day. And everyone was getting going to Australia because we could get visas easy. It's just fuck it, why not give it a bash, see what it's all about. Then when you get over there, fall in love with the beaches, the weather, all that shit. And yeah, now it's um, where I live, it's not home. I'll never be home, Ireland's always home, but it's where I live, yeah. yeah. It's where they lay me out at night time. Absolutely. But yeah, the beaches there are quite spectacular, we've seen them. I mean, I've not been to Australia in about 15 years. But oh, you were over there? I've been over there because my aunt lives over there, so, oh, yeah. but not that side, sort of... Um, Sydney, that yeah, way, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was a long time ago, 15, maybe even longer, so. Um, right, your challenge in front of you tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, yeah, you seen much of Chris? I've seen, I've seen a couple of his fights. I know what to expect, he's tough, he brings it um, every time, and it's gonna be, you know, all of his losses, but there's only three, they're all close fights. So he brings it, I know what to expect. Everyone keeps saying to me, oh, he's tough. Fuck, that's a tough fight. I'm fucking tough. I'm tough. Everyone's going to see how tough I am tomorrow. Just because you haven't seen me fight before. That's why a lot of people are, geez, it's a tough fight. Fair play to for taking it. Fair play for him for taking it. It's a tough fight for both of us, but mm. I'm number six in the world. I can't just go defending this title against any Eastern European import. When Willie fell out with his hand injury, they said, will you fight? Um, Chris Jenkins, I jumped that. Yeah, 100%, let's get it on. If I'm as good as I think I am, then... You know, I should be being guys like Chris Jenkins and saying that's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a tough fight, but I'm um, looking forward to it. Yeah, let's touch on obviously Willie Lemon. Yeah, disappointing obviously that didn't materialise. Yeah, it would have been good. I was looking forward to the hostile Scottish environment. All them uh, brave hard fucking trying to, trying to kill. I was looking forward to it, but I guess if you get injured, you get injured, you know. Willie's been in there with the likes of Amir Khan, Eric Morales, so a little kid from fucking Ireland, Bondi and Kent. He's not going to be too worried about, you know, it's obviously a, a genuine injury and shit happens in boxing, yeah. so what can you do? But yeah, like I said, you're, you're on the bill. And like I said, Chris Jenkins has been in with very good, decent domestic opposition yeah. um, and obviously kind of had his purple patch a few years ago where, you know, he was kind of really on the scene and he's kind of, after a couple of defeats, kind of drifted back on. He'll be looking to kind of stop you in your tracks as, so to speak uh, tomorrow night yeah. but you'll have other plans yeah, it's so. a big opportunity for him if he if he beats me he takes what I have um, but that won't be happening it's the first time I met you and I'm very fascinated by you because, yeah. yeah you seem you're quite intriguing to interview yeah is that a good or a bad thing or? it's always a good thing because you could come in here and say nothing that's it mate I could <laughs> And the hat just tops it off. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's quite cold out, so you got to protect the old barn, you know? Because apart from really, like, sort of hardcore, like, Irish fans, and probably you're, you've had a lot of fights down, down south. Yeah. Um, but there's going to be a lot of people that are not really aware of you yeah. uh, here, aren't they? So um, is that going to change? Are you going to sort of want to have more fights here, or is this kind of... Yeah, well, I'm signed with MTK now, and they're yeah. obviously down the majority of the walk over this side of the um, of the Atlantic or Pacific, whatever. The fucking, there's about ten oceans in between. <laughs> but uh, the way I was walking out with all these belts after going into this World Boxing Super Series, I was thinking, right, what do I do? The opportunity came to sign with MTK. 
I said, okay, I'll, I'll go through that roster, all, all the top guys they have, and hopefully God willing be perfectly placed in a year's time after beating the top guys at MTK to hopefully challenge the winner of that. So, um, yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of me, mate. Certainly hope so. All right, Darrow, have you got any closing words, anything else you'd like to add before people can tune in and watch you on Box Nation tomorrow night? Yeah, nah, just tune in and uh, get to know me, eh? Get to know me. Social media, what are you on? Superfoley1 on Instagram. Um, I don't bother with that Twitter, like, it's too much, man. Why? Because uh, I know I'll just get drawn into... You know, tweet already, things that you're not meant to tweet. Yeah. I can see that, that from you. Yeah. I can absolutely see that yeah, from you. Yeah, so in saying that, I'll probably be on it tomorrow, but yeah, Super Foley 1 on Instagram and Super Foley on Facebook. And I'm the sort of guy I like showing, not saying, you know. See, see what I'm about tomorrow in the ring. If you haven't seen me, that's fair enough because you haven't been exposed to me. You will tomorrow. Make up your verdict after that. Okay, look forward to it. Dara, thank you very much for coming to Eiffel TV and hopefully we'll catch up with you after your fight tomorrow night. 100%. Thank you.